Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nastrin Padasari. So this joint CSR UGC NET examination June 2021 has been conducted for two different purposes friends. You all know one is for JRF and another one is for lecturership. So many students are getting confused how many seats will be given for JRF and how many seats will be given for this lecturership. And in this video, we are going to discuss detailly about total number of seats allotted for JRF and total number of seats allotted for lecturership. You will be amazed and surprised to see the entire video, friends. Okay. So if you take JRF, it's a junior research fellowship, friends. Salary or stipend, both are same only. So it is given by CSAR. So for five years, the CSAR will give you salary. So if you are a JRF, then you will be getting 31,000. So after a completion of two years or three years, you need to submit a report to the CSAR and they will promote you for this SRF, where SRF will get 35,000 plus HRA. Regarding this HRA, we will discuss in a separate video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next, if you speak about this lecturership position, so lecturership is nothing but it's only with respect to assistant professorship friends. So if you are a student who are not involved in research or if you are a student who are finding clearing this JRF is very tough, then you can approach this lecturership. So with regard to this lecturership, this institution, say if you are going to apply your teaching job or a professor job in XYZ college means that college will give you the stipend. So you can both apply in government college and also private college friends okay so you have that particular option and this lecturership option is only for those who are involved in teaching profession or any other profession friends if your ambition is do your jrf and do your scientist means you should write this jrf examination friends because lecturership clearing lectureship is not that much decent friends i can say and if uh, if you cleared under this lectureship position also you can work in a research division so you can work in DRDO or IAC Bangalore or some other IITs, NITs, you can work. That's not a thing. But the thing is that you'll be working as a project fellow. Nowhere below your name, you won't be given as JRF. Okay. If you are selected as a JRF means for five years, the CSR will give fellowship. So by taking the fellowship, you can put your FD or you can save your amount or you can buy something like that, I can say. Because CSR, assuredly, they will give the fellowship. But if you take a lectureship, only the institution is going to fellowship and that fellowship will be ranging around 40,000 to 80,000. And if you are well working, then for a five years, they can give you fellowship friends. And if you are not working, immediately they will fire you. So that's the thing with respect to lectureship. If you are a MSc candidate or if you are a BSc candidate, you can definitely apply this like JRF question. And next important thing is that JRF means if you are qualified JRF, automatically you will be qualified under lectureship. So you have two things. Either you can select the path of research or else if you are not interested in research or currently you need to take any career, uh, career break in research and all, you can take this lectureship. Okay, So you have two options. Either you can take JRF and you can take lectureship. So if you apply for JRF means then you are eligible for the lectureship also. You can check the result paper and all friends. So in upcoming video, once the result for the exam has been released, definitely share a separate video with regarding to JRF and lectureship. Next. Saying if the cutoff for JRF is 50%, which means for 200 marks, you need to get 100 marks. And the cutoff for this lectureship is only 45%. So, mostly the cutoff for LS will be very much less when compared to JRF. Friends. So, if the cutoff is 45%, then you need to get 90 marks out of 200. See, my mark is 98 marks out of 200 means I didn't clear the exam under JRF category because for JRF category, the cutoff is 50%, but I cleared the exam under lectureship category. Okay. And another thing you should know, if you are cleared your exam under LS category means you are not eligible to get fellowship from CSCR to do your PhD. But clearing LS will keep yourself motivated and it is also an additional qualification friends because if you go to any job a student who didn't even clear lectureship he or simply came for the examination and if you clear lectureship position or net examination means definitely you will be selected and clearing lectureship will definitely motivate you and upgrade you and it will provide you confidence to clear JRF in next year. Next, how many seats for this junior research fellowship? Okay, if you take the exam and last year analysis starting from June 2017 to November 2020, you can able to see since why I am putting CSCR JRF and UGC JRF, it is a joint CSCR UGC examination, friends. Since it is a joint CSCR, 
both the CSAR and UGC will give you fellowship. CSAR will give fellowship for 70% of qualified student and UGC will give fellowship for 30%. So, if you are selected as a CSAR fellow means, uh, I think you will be under a very much tension because the CSAR will not in prompt in giving amount and fund and all. But if you are a UGC fellow means definitely UGC will give fellowship amount and all on time. So, if you are a UGC fellow, there are many advantages for you friends. Okay. And next thing. Starting from June 2017 to November 2020, can you able to see the fellowship it's same only. If you take a mean, there was no increase. If you take only December 2017, they had given fellowship around 400 candidate has awarded CSA or JRF fellowship. Okay. And if you take this UGC JRF, again, I'm saying it is a joint CSA or UGC fellowship. CSA will give fellowship for few candidate and UGC will give fellowship for few candidate. Okay, and for UGC, number range is 15,500 only, but only from June 2019, they had increased the fellowship, like 100 or 200 fellowship, they had increased. Okay, so both the fellowship, they given by CSAR and UGC. CSAR, JRF will give fellowship and UGC also give fellowship for few candidates. Total number of fellowship you can range, it's ranging only around 3,000 only. So, greater number of fellowship was awarded in December 2019, where they had given 5,473 5, students has awarded the fellowship junior research fellowship whereas the minimum amount was with respect to this particular year june 2017 so it was 3358 so what about this june 2021 how many fellowship will be awarded if you ask me so nearly 2100 fellowship that the csr jrfs will be awarded and 1600 students will be awarded with the ugc jrf fellowship so, totally 3,700 to 4,000 fellowship will be awarded. So, if you are speaking about the number of seats could should be increased under, nothing is on hand, friends, because if you take November 2020 also, in that particular year also, the exam was conducted in a single time only. Okay. So, at that time also, they didn't even increase the fellowship. The thing is that they had decreased the fellowship. So, in December 2019, they had awarded 2,185 fellowship. And in November 2020, if they conducted single exam, means they should double the fellowship. At least they could give the fellowship for 3, but since roughly they have given fellowship only for 2135 and if you are speaking about the June 2021 examination yes friends I agree because we didn't write December 2020 examination June 2021 examination and December 2021 examination so already two exams have been given so there are chances I can say there are 50 percentage chances for increasing the number of fellowship and 50 percentage of chances of not increasing the fellowship everything is now is in the hand of the CSAR HRDG they need to decide the fellowship so this is with regarding to number of seats for JR. Next thing is with regard to number of seats for lectureship or assistant professorship. So with regard to lectureship of assistant professorship, the number is ranging from 3,000 to 4,000 and not more than 4,000. So in June 2019, nearly 3,595 candidate has been awarded. And with regard to this November 2020 examination, nearly 4,395 candidate has been awarded with this LS. So, okay, this is the number point difference that they are not going to increase the fellowship above 500. Even though after clearing this lectureship, uh, the student cannot able to expect the fellowship to be given by CSAR because as I mentioned earlier, lectureship is only an eligibility to clear the lectureship. And you, by using your uh, force and your uh, uh, outsourcing, like uh, you need to have enough contact with many people and you need to apply for any lecturer portion in government college and private college only and that college only will give you fellowship. At least they should increase this lecturership thing because now if uh, many students who didn't clear, uh, do, didn't get a mark with respect to JRF, they will be expecting at least clearing lectureship. At least clearing lectureship doesn't signify the candidate will lose the interest in research and all. He or she will create a motivation and it is an add up credit only. In the resume and all, you can mention cleared CSAR June 2021 lectureship like that. And also, we can't able to see what happens tomorrow. Sometimes your life will post you to take a lectureship position. You might be get stuck in a physical mental pressure where you can able to focused on research at that time point you can get you know about lectureship okay and if you ask me total number of lectureship portion that will be awarded in june 2021 i'm saying with 4500 not increasing seats if seats has been increases the number will be around 6000 only but nowhere nta or csr will take that much credit and all of increasing the fellowship above 10000 like that so if the seats are increased definitely the fellowship should be around 10000 i don't know what they are take 
uh, thinking to do uh, still we don't know how many candidate applied for the examination if more generally 2 lakh candidate will be applied but this time with regard to june 2021 if 5000 candidate has applied means then definitely they will increase the double the fellowship ones. okay and next thing how i predicted means with regard to jrf every year you can be able to see top 0.5 to 1 percentage of student will be awarded CSCR fellowship for JR. okay so top 0.5 to 1 percentage of student will be awarded with JR. and with regard to ls top 3 to 5 percentage of student will be awarded net alone so they will be qualified only under this lectureship whereas JRF top 0.5 to 1 percentage student will be awarded so how i am how i am predicted this particular thing you can check this uh, joint ccr ugc november 2020 examination so with regard to november 2020 examination totally 262692 candidate has registered so they have registered for the examination but total number of students who had appeared for the examination or who wrote the examination is 171273 so why this much differences means many students by the eagerness or by the peer pressure or by the pro college uh, pressure they had applied or they will register but at last they won't write the examination thinking that I didn't even prepare any examination then why I should write. So that's the reason why th this many students only wrote the examination or else they may be in the financial distress where they can't able to pay their fees at last minute or else their application form will be denied by the exam conducting authority. So totally 1,71,000 students has wrote the examination but if you see total number of students who qualify the examination is around 8278 which means totally top three percentage of student will clear the examination friends so you can able to see remaining 97 percentage of student they had failed the examination they didn't even clear the examination so what i'm saying from this particular thing itself the exam is getting much more harder and the CSCR is also getting a tougher question paper and from government side also from research they are not even allotting many finance if they are uh, instead of uh, 1 crore if they are allotting 5 crore for research division means definitely the CSCR will increase the fellowship and also they will decrease the cut off rates. so many students will be clear in the examination so this is from my perspective in next video I will definitely up update you how many seats will be allotted for JRF and LS with respect to chemical sciences, physical sciences, mathematical sciences, life sciences and health sciences. So for each subject, I will be putting a separate seat so that you can get to no idea about it. Okay, so thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you, if you like my content, please click the like button. And if you did subscribe to my YouTube channel, please click the subscription button. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching the video.